right. I have played one Monster Hunter game. I couldn't tell you which one it was, but it was on a handheld. And I was very, very bad at it. But it looks... It's been looking super cute. Super cute meaning the cat. <laughs> so, people keep telling me, Oh, you should play this. You should play this. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at Monster Hunter. Welcome to the world of Monster Hunter Wilds. Together, we will journey to the This Forbidden is pretty Lands. much what I remember Uncharted Monster Hunter looking like. The yes, guild has begun on investigating. whichever game I played. The Forbidden Lands were believed to be uninhabited until just a few years ago, when a boy named Nata was found there and taken into guild protection. Nata was all alone after escaping an attack on his village by a mysterious monster. And the guild has assembled an expedition to investigate. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. Our objectives will be to investigate the monster, known as the White Wraith, and to rescue Nata's people, known as the Keepers. Okay. And be defeated. Oh, who am I, you ask? My name is Alma, and I'll be your guide on this journey. <laughs> the cat! Are you ready to step into a world of adventure? Well, let's go. love the cat. Expedition team. Each expedition unit consists of a hunter, handler, smithy, and palico. Oh, palicos. And it'll okay, be all the hands cats are called palicos. Deck, with each unit carrying out their own vital roles for the guild. Hunter! As our unit's hunter, you're sanctioned to bear weapons and hunt monsters. And as your handler, Gee, the it's my responsibility so much... to manage your quests, um, I authorize hunts, and ensure still that you the have all the information you need. The reason I've always had problems with it Gemma, is because our smithy, will take my monster materials you provide and forge equipment for you. Most games, perfection, is I your love leveling up. I love leveling up my character and getting stronger. In just this natural way, we I mentioned fight there's more than one you. unit. Level up. We belong to Avis unit. Easy. And we'll have the honor the of teaming up with like the other way units. To become stronger well, was not by leveling up, it was by getting better the armor, and that's what made stronger. But some you of the other units from the expedition. Kill hard Mind enemies to get the materials to make the armor. If I'm remembering correctly, and it, it, it was just impossible. Because I Our couldn't initial level myself the up to be good enough will be to the defeat windward planes. the enemies I needed to, to get the weather, armor I wanted, the and oh, will put both the my goodness. And the wrath my of goodness, I was, uh, full I failed. During the fallow, ravenous carnivores battle for every scrap of food. And a phenomenon known as the sand tide conjures thunder and lightning. After Struck the storm lightning comes too. the plenty, a time of abundant life and fertility. With every shift in the environment, the creatures of the plains change their behavior to adapt and survive. This looks to so colorful. In our expedition, I we'll mean, have not all of it. Bit like some of it, like this is very gray, obviously. But when it's, when it's colorful, it's so saturated. A rich, diverse ecosystem has arisen from the Windward Plains' unique climate. Doshagama, for example, form packs centered around a Oh, alpha. that would flatten me. Taking on multiple See that? See that whole dodging attack thing? a recipe for disaster. Oh. Oh. In order to face the Alpha in a more ideal situation, it's wise to disperse the pack first. I would totally have to, like, hide in, in a corner, areas, play with someone, and Balahara, they can defeat it, and I will hide. Them to maneuver freely, Which I believe is how I the approached the last time I played a monk on the game. They're capable of creating quicksand traps. Unfortunate not just for hunters, but for any large monsters that get dragged into them. You may also encounter Chattacabra. Uh, Toad-like monsters. The tongue! The the tongue! No! The not the tongue! These monsters apply sticky saliva to their forelegs, and then fortify them with minerals. 
The Chattacabra's sizable tongue, while crucial to its survival, is also its biggest weakness. Don't miss your chance to attack when the tongue is exposed. You know I'm gonna miss my chance Nature to attack when the tongue is exposed. Nature has one rule. You're either the hunter or the hunted. That goes for monsters too, as they battle for supremacy. In the Windward Plains, one creature sits squarely at the top of the food chain. Ray Dao. Uh. Often spotted during the onset of the sand tide, Ray Dao has adapted to the relentless lightning storms and is able to use this adaptation to discharge devastating attacks that to any that threaten its territory. Brutal. If you are called upon to face it, Hunter, I ask that you take extreme precaution. That's me, shot by lightning. <laughs> what is that thing on the bottom right? While out on hunts, you might spot some small creatures at your feet, or perched in the trees. All of the endemic life you see this, has evolved bird? to survive in this harsh environment. <laughs> I cannot help but to be amazed by these creatures. The sheer will to survive, even in such an unforgiving environment. Let's talk about the expedition's base camp. This is the heart of operations, where you can do practically everything, whether it's crafting weapons and armor or resupplying Stupid crafting divisions. weapons and armor. <laughs> One tool that's sure to come in handy out in the vast expanse of the plains is the pop-up camp. While limited in number, these provide a sort of home away from home while out in the field. Oh, cute. That's cute. <sighs> Pop-up camps serve as fast travel waypoints. A place to change your equipment. And an item restocking point. See how useful they are? Of course, if a monster oh, finds no. one of them, Don't it destroy might not the camp. very long. We'll need to think carefully where exactly we set them up. In our travels, there's a chance we'll cross paths with the people of the Windward Plains. Our interactions with this new culture could be what sustains us on our quest. Well, I did say I hadn't eaten today, and An now incredible I'm hungry. adventure awaits with new monsters, new friendships, and awe-inspiring vistas. Uh, it's a beginner's guide to, I think? I almost forgot. Have you decided on a weapon yet? Every hunter's journey begins with weapon oh, selection. Oh, you can start with a... Oh, oh that's right. I did hear that which, whichever weapon you start might. with really changes Keep your distance the... and dish out a relentless assault. Keep your distance and dish out a relentless Deliver assault. That sounds like stand me. stand your ground. Or strike with a flurry of slicing attacks. Staying as far away as possible. Fourteen weapon types are available, and at least one of them is the perfect fit for you. If you're not sure what to pick, ask me. I can provide advice on which is the most suitable. The one that keeps me if far, far, far away, memory, please. Then this weapon might and be allows me to dance and paint. Hunters can't just rely on weapons. You'll need to make use of items like shock traps and barrel bombs. Not to mention any endemic life and geographical features that you come across. Oh wow, you have to, to actually to read the, the environment too. That's all cool. you've got to take down your target. That's super cool. One thing's for sure: hunting is hungry work. With your oh no! Don't show me grow, delicious food. You'll be able to prepare Not meals delicious on the food go. while I'm hungry. And yes. That includes meat. So tasty. <laughs> Your palico is a feline companion that provides various types of support out in the field. Whether it's laying traps to hinder monsters, or healing you when you've taken a beat. Uh, yes, please heal. Heals inbound. The two of you make a pretty good team. You can always trust me to have your back. Oh, that reminds me. Be sure to keep an eye on your health gauge. 
I will start shaking to warn against any potentially life-threatening attacks. There's no better way to traverse the Windward Plains than astride your sacred. Whether it's a target quest. you're trying to reach, or just a point on the map, your sacred will follow the scent and take you there. Not only can you gather and use items on the go, you can even perform mounted attacks. <laughs> and if you find yourself in a tight situation, I'm you can just call thinking, your sacred, how much will, will I take fail you out of harm's way. at even attempting this? Whether you're hunting or just exploring, that extra mobility will prove rather useful. If you're struggling to face a monster alone, you'll be able to call for reinforcements. Fire an SOS flare, and up to three hunters will race to your side to That's assist with the That's what we need! Hunt. In multiplayer, you'll be connected online with a team of hunters from around the world. If you are unable to fill the hunting party, or if you'd prefer to play offline, then NPC support hunters will come to your aid instead. NPC hunters living by my side. Hunt monsters and harvest materials from them. Use those materials yep, that's to upgrade exactly your what weapons I remember. and armor. That's how I remember this game being. And join the quest with your hunter friends. Get stronger by getting Your better weapons. Your life as a hunter uh, is about to begin yeah. in Monster Hunter Wilds. Do -do -do! Do -do -do! February 28, 2025. Pure now. <laughs> well, that actually looked very impressive. It looked really cool, and there's a lot going... It has a lot going for it, for sure. I have very bad memories of my failing at my last attempt. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I'm not willing to give it a try again. I would be willing to give it a try again and see if I'm any better at it now. You never know. You never know. I've gotten through some games. I've gotten through some games that I didn't think I'd get through. So you, you never know. I might, I might manage it. Maybe. Just maybe. 